Holy smokes, this is going to be a good one, guys. I just walked about 10 minutes from the entrance because uh, you'll see these concrete poles here. Does not allow me to back in from this side. Dude, this thing is all jacked up. Okay. What? And it's a very steep hill. Yeah, the pictures didn't do it justice when uh, they sent them to me. <gasps> what? I don't know if Hulk can fit this. If you guys can see these concrete poles right here. No, of course not. I got my hands spread open and There's Hulk all the way right there with the lights on. See, now the issue is once I get it up right, that's half the battle. We gotta transport this on a Lando. There's no way my Lando's gonna come from where I came from right there. And definitely can't fit in here. Oh, this is gonna be very fun. Welcome back, Josh. Throw me a curveball. Hey, you wanna laugh? My dad lives up this hill. What are the odds? I'm gonna go knock on his door and tell him to come help. I got an idea though. Even if I could come in from here and go down this hill, I wouldn't wanna do that for a couple of reasons. It's something I found out the hard way when I was starting out years ago. You gotta extend your outriggers out and plant them, right? And elevate your truck. Well, I'm uphill. So you gotta figure when that happens, your tires should be slightly off the ground. As soon as I start putting weight, it's gravity's gonna wanna take me back. Those outriggers, it'll slide. Very dangerous. Well, this way, I'm gonna back up to it and push it away from me. Which, you know what? If those cylinders are locked, it shouldn't be hard. I can just rig to this. It won't be the cleanest, but it is very possible. So let's do that. I got my game plan. And by the way, I'm recording on the brand new Insta360 Go 3S. This thing is ridiculously tiny. Allows me to do hands-free. So hopefully the audio is good, the video is good, and it turns out to be a good video, but I'm gonna walk this and keep this in the video just so you guys can see how crazy it is. This is literally an apartment complex. At least there's a restroom here. So with Hulk, I mean, this would have been better with Alex and Big Flipper because of the uh, tack axle versus the pusher axle. Big Flipper can maneuver in these spaces so much better than Hulk. But he's busy, so. I'm gonna make do. All right, four minutes later, and this is how I came in. So, I mean, you can see how tight it is. It's gonna be very difficult. But what I like about this is I'm gonna try to, to back in. I'm trying to visualize it. If I back in, um, I'm gonna have to reverse the entire way actually. I'm not going to be able to U-turn in here. Yeah, it's possible. No one said it's going to be easy, but it's possible. So let me do that. And just for theatrics, I'll probably throw up this camera on the uh, on the rear of my truck, just so you guys can see what that looks like.
my perfect timing. My Landall's here. He's just gonna get it out of the way. There's, if you guys saw that right now, me backing up, there's no way he's gonna be able to do that. It's just not possible. And you saw that blue car. People are just in a hurry to go nowhere. So even if he could get the Landall in here, it's 102 inches wide. Uh, he's gonna bottom out once I put this load on him, which means I'll have to witch him out. It's just, it's a no-go. And then you got that line up there. I'm gonna try to risk it and see if it starts. Once I upright it, I mean, it might just start. So we'll get my truck into position first and hope for the best. Let's get my gloves. On a job like this, this is where Big Flipper is a little better because of the reach. Yep. It's a little bit good Big Flipper on the outside and on the inside. I love a challenge though. Uh. All right guys, so what I'm gonna be doing is Putting my auxiliary lines as they catch up here. So I'm gonna use all four lines. The two main lines for the lift on the boom, and then the auxiliaries for a catch. Because if I only lift from the boom, there's nothing controlling it when uh, it wants to come over the other way. The good thing is that side, I got gravity helping me. But still, we don't want no shock load on a big, big boy like this. It's got to be every bit of like 95 degrees right now, too. Oof. Stuff's like riding a bike, man. You just don't forget. Ah. All right. All right, let me free spool everything now. That one, you can leave because I'm going to walk it out with the, the back of the tailboard. It's only these ones I want free spooled. Another benefit too is I'm always working off the side. I rarely work off the back, but technically this is uh, where Hulk is the strongest. You don't just, it's, it's good like that. Okay. You can let him go now. I'm done with that. I'm gonna back up so my outriggers are just before the gate. Backup time. All right, I got all my rigging out. Easy peasy. We'll start with uh, the first lift. Five eighths inch trusty container sling. back and I'm good it's one and then my little mini 
5 8 grommet sling. Two more shackles for each one. <clears throat> All right, these are my lifts. And then for my catches, I'll just do one there. Yeah. Platinum sling. My son's killing me. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, that's freaking perfect. Are you, and I, need to that in? Yeah, I'm gonna need a catch back there. Yeah, on that, it's, it's... Otherwise, it'll pivot on me. With all four lines, I can have tension on each corner so it doesn't slide on me. Yep. Just need a spot to catch. Found it. Here. This hole. Yeah. It's a 5 8 inch, so it's 16,000 pounds in a vertical, and that's just a catch, so way more than enough. There, hold one of these. Go for it. Can we get my remote? It's rigging time. I just pray this thing starts once we uh, upright it. Oh, by the way, the boom's like this because I had to uh, switch the lines. The lifts go on the outside and the catch lines, which is the auxiliaries, go on the inside. So the cables don't cut, uh, touch as it comes over. I'll swing it over to you. <clears throat> Ready? Oh no, let me give you a lot more line. Good. I'll fix that right now. And we just set up the outriggers completely and it's lift off. And I'll set up the drone too. Outriggers are good. I'm gonna just uh, do a test by putting all my lines in free spool. And getting a ton of height. It's in free spool, just let it. Now we could adjust. I'm not even gonna put my gloves on for this. All right, let's do this. Now, unfortunately, it's gonna swing. It's at a horrible angle, but. Trick is not to have any tension at all in the catch lines.
better? Yep, we're on the fence now. Good. Just have to extend out a tiny bit. Now we continue. Stand clear. All right, my catch lines are a little too loose. Not too tight. Like that's good. Nah, leave it. That's pretty cool, man. The only thing I don't like is how the forks came open. Is it gonna hit the building? And even if it does, they open and close uh, free will. Yeah. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna get caught. That's something I should have caught in the beginning and just chained it. I did not expect that. But the good thing is now that it's like this, I could probably rotate it about a foot. I think the tires are wrong too. Yeah, the tires are wrong. Okay, now you have a better angle. <clears throat> yep, yep. Right, here's a little bit better angle. Now the cool thing is, um, I'm fully extended. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boom down while, while cable's in at the same time. And I'll tell you why right now. There we go. That way, in case the tires come up, it'll be impossible to roll back into my truck. Look, it's almost all catch. Yeah, very. A little less tension and a little less tension. Now we're almost there. on it? Nope. Almost there, buddy. Almost there. Too much tension. Dang, it's still not all catch. That's how steep this hill is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boom up so slow until the wheel. There we go, there we go. It's done. That's it. Jay, see if you can fire it up.
What an awkward job. In fact, I'm gonna keep tension on that white one in case it wants to roll back. Look, remember how we said it didn't leak? That's what the bucket's for. Yeah. As long as you can retract it, man, that'd be awesome. Let me call Rolando then, he'll send a mechanic. Okay. So, release tension on the boom. No, start dropping the boom. Go, go, go. Don't stop, don't stop. I'll follow you. Wow, this is cool. If it can reverse, then we could drive it out. very fun I'm gonna see if Jay can just reverse it for me and drive it out Go, go! Oh, well, he's got it on, but it's just not going in reverse. Could be transmission issue because it was on its side for so long. Maybe it's locked. Won't go in reverse or what? Keep it on. Don't do anything. I'm gonna call Rolando and see if he knows how to um, put these in reverse. Hey Rolando, we got it up. Um, by some miracle, we were able to start it and, and put the boom down, but it won't go in reverse. It won't back up. I'm guessing because we could hear the reverse beep. It beeps like he could put it in reverse in it, but it does not move uh, one inch. Won't do any. It can drive forward because it's 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 facing the wall. Yeah, it's in a horrible spot. Yeah. He said that if that brake is down, it might be the transmission fluid that went out. But if it's down, that means I can move it with my, my boom. The wheel should roll freely, so let me do that. Are you, get out? you can get out, but leave it on. All right, so I talked to the guy who gave me the job, uh, Full Kelly Equipment and Repair Rolando. He fixes these for a living. We disengaged the brake. But he says if it's disengaged and it's not moving, most likely that bucket's gonna be transmission. It could be transmission fluid. 
Well, I got an idea. He said that uh, it could, the tires will, like I can move the machine as long as the brakes disengaged. So I'm gonna see if I could rotate it back, straighten it out, and then I'll have to get out of this complex and uh, winch it up that hill. Yeah, see, I can move it. Well, I got one idea. We just leave it on. I get where you're at and I just winch it up the hill. Yeah. Once it's out, you can just pick it up. I got an even better idea. It might not go in reverse, but you think it'll go forward? You can try it. Try, try to put it in drive and go forward. Never mind. We're gonna have to do it the hard way then. Turn it off. Um, that sucks. That would have been too perfect if it would have driven out. So let me spin it and straighten it out. Let me land the drone. All right, guys. Uh, all right, guys, so what we did is, uh, this thing does not drive, but it steers. So while I was recharging this little tiny Go 3S Insta, um, I had put it right here. All Jay did was just straighten it out and let gravity take it. I put my truck away fully and he's gonna coast it once i move and once that happens i'm gonna have to uh i'm gonna tow it out of here with the chain we wish this thing would drive we're on the phone with the mechanic and we troubleshoot it and nope so we got this away let me pull forward and then see how far gravity will take jay
when I use my deck winch, connect it to a chain. Ah, boom, can raise just a little bit and we can go to uh. Don't put it in the front, the front axle. Well, that wasn't fun or easy, but we got it out. Hopefully the footage came out okay. Jay maneuvered it. I steered the obviously Hulk. And then we're gonna push it onto the bed and out, out we go. That was fun. You want me to winch in while you steer it? Yeah. You 
got one of your rings. You have to go sit up there. Use this one. Ah. Okie dokie. Slow and steady does it on this. Alright guys, they're giving me another call after this. I got an undeck for a tractor, so once this thing's up here, I'm gonna leave Jay to it. And off to Wilmington, he goes to the repair yard, so. It was a fun job. Definitely kicked our butts with some out of the box thinking. Like that. Just through the front and we're out of here guys another fun job really hoping that this uh the go 3s that i'm using and stupid small camera google it it's like it's tiny you wouldn't believe how tiny it is but it's 4k so i'm praying the footage came out nice peace out everyone hope y'all enjoyed